Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session Wednesday, 6th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's run through the uh, European uh, stats thus far in the afternoon. As we know, your Asian markets certainly pulverized overnight, uh, certainly good, turning into risk off. Uh, again, a lot of geopolitical scenarios playing out. Obviously, you have North Korean situation, and also you have the situation now that's arose with regards to the Middle East. Uh, <coughs> after Mr. Trump is set to uh, announce the uh, the capital of uh, Israel being Jerusalem, given the fact that obviously they've um, uh, ethnically cleansed the land, uh, it's an illegal according to UN resolution. It's equal. Well, it's not even equal. It's, it was Palestinian land. Uh, if you look at the actual uh, historical significance, they were basically booted out. Uh, the uh, uh, the so-called nation of Israel was created, etc., etc., post Ottoman obviously uh, collapse, uh, and so on and so forth. Now this is a very sensitive subject, and I'm not going to get go into it. But basically, what's happening now is is illegal. Uh, everything Mr. Trump does is illegal, really, uh, given his uh, so-called immigration ban as well. I think it's certainly been uh, stopped on multiple occasions. So either way, I mean, it's nothing new. I mean, a racist, a bigot, a misogynist. Sexist, etc. Quite what you long like. I mean, he's he's an he really is an imbecile. But uh, again, the impact uh, geopolitically, given the fact that a lot of the Muslim nations, such as Jordan, Saudi, uh, you have uh, Turkey as well, that's spoken out and saying that's a red line, so on and so forth. I mean, having uh, ethically cleansed it already, uh, basically, it's the worst um, so-called. Uh, should we say a concentration camp in the world? That's literally what Gaza was, was, was described as by the UN, a concentration camp, literally. Um, so given the fact that they have, there's no freedom of movement, there's no jobs, etc. They're living uh, below the poverty line. Uh, kids subjugated, suppressed, women suppressed. I mean, it's not exactly uh, freedom, is it? I mean, either way, that's the situation. I'm not going to go into it too much. Uh, again, that certainly is risk negative, given the fact that the, the implications in going on in the Middle East as if things weren't bad already. Okay, now, the other aspect as well with regards to US government shutdown, that certainly is risk off, risk negative. Also, we have the concerns with regards to the tax plan, whether or not it's actually pro-growth. Uh, I'm just tweeting out the latest uh, stats here by John Howard uh, from the Republicans, say keeping control of Congress depends on passing tax bill. Tax bill. <coughs> but new polls shows most Americans neither support it nor believe the main arguments behind it. 64% of Americans, including one quarter of Republicans, say got tax plan benefits wealthy most. Okay, uh, including most Republicans, say got plan will either raise uh, their taxes or not affect them much at all. Okay, um, again, uh, got tax plan favor the rich at expense of middle class. 60% of Americans say yes. So 61% of Americans are saying that the uh, the got tax plan basically favors the rich as opposed to the poor. How are they helping the middle class? And everybody knows that Mr. Trump was only elected just to line his own pockets and obviously line the pocket of his families and, and line the pockets of his friends. Now, that's been proven true all the way along. I mean, I can't see anything here. And 61% of Americans obviously agree as well, according to the poll. And this is a CNBC article that you can certainly read as well. Feel free to. The GOP isn't getting a political payoff from its tax plan. Americans oppose a Republican tax cut effort by nearly 2 to 1. Now, that's democracy, 2 to 1. Uh, and yet this dictator certainly seems to be ramming it through and claiming it as a political success. I can't see any success there at all. But imbeciles don't really have much logic to uh, actually uh, uh, implement or actually utilise. So pointless arguing. OK, either way, that's the case. That's the status quo. Uh, so again, risk off there. Uh, Brexit talk stalling, uh, a talk stalling, certainly hurting markets. Copper sold off quite sharply yesterday. Uh, on the back of obviously uh, tax growth concerns, oil prices certainly coming under pressure today. And let's see how the market unfolds. I mean, we have dollar under, under pressure as well, uh, get into resistance at the moment, whether or not this tax plan is pro growth at all. We had uh, GDP numbers from Australia certainly weaker overnight as well. In terms of European data, we've had German factory orders coming out slightly better, stronger than expected. Uh, and then we've had uh, ADP numbers and uh, mortgage numbers due now from the US. So Let's go to the technical picture now in terms of the markets, given the fact that Asian markets were down sharply with Nikkei down 2%. German DAX, okay, looking at the German DAX, daily chart has always been quite bearish. 60-minute chart, we've uh, closed the gap now at uh, 12,860, which uh, really was looking for a catalyst too. Now, we have got a base around the 12,850 zone, 
Okay, we've got an unfilled gap above now, so bear that in mind. 10 minute chart, also given the fact that we have the um, the so called coalition talk starting tomorrow as well, so bear that in mind in terms of the German DAX and potential risk off uh, scenario or even risk on. Okay, so again, looking at unfilled gap above now at 13 or 50, gap down almost 200 points today, quite a prolific gap lower. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's look at the French CAC uh, again, close the gap below at the 5315. Certainly has been bouncing ever since. Uh, again, you've got a gap fill above at 5375. So watch out above there as well. FTSE 100 has been quite impressive. It's actually closed the gap after obviously uh, uh, gapping lower. So it has been quite impressive. We bounced off that key support at 7290. So 7290, the daily chart is a very import, important uh, support zone as well. So just bear that in mind. Very, very important support level for the FTSE 100. Okay, so let's see how that unfolds. Okay, so that certainly is a summation of the uh, the actual markets uh, this morning. Again, um, the uh, situation in the US will be very, very important. Let's see how US markets unfold. Again, concerns with regards to US government shutdown, concerns with regards to uh, so-called growth post-tax reform, given the fact that a lot of the markets have, ba have baked it all in now. Let's see if uh, the rally can be sustained. Okay, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly visit TradeSignal for the latest app. Goodbye now.